Welcome back to another episode of What Should I Get Pierced? My name is Scott Wilkinson. I'm a professional body piercer and have been since 1994. Now on the show, we're gonna take a look at six different people looking at their faces, looking at uh, their ears, and I'm gonna tell you what would be good possibilities for piercings and ultimately what I think would look best. So let's get started. Now up first, we do have Alice. First thing I'm seeing is some sort of lip piercing. I could totally see some sort of vertical labret. You can see how that would look really nice as well as a Medusa. Medusa would fit in really well with that upper lip and it's not as defined so that allows you to go with a really big piece of jewelry. Of course, there's always the possibility of nostril piercings. Um, nostril, let me go bigger with my brush here. Try this again, go a little bit bigger for the size. And see if we can see that nostril piercing now. Yep, that is better. Um, and for her, I could definitely see a double nostril, you know, one right next to each other, kind of going down, so you wear a ring in one, maybe stud in the other, super, super cute. Now also as a fun possibility would be a bridge piercing. You can see, it looks like the bridge is pronounced, as long as the bone doesn't come up there. And of course, eyebrow piercings. I love eyebrow piercings and we just don't see enough of them. So, with that, if my ultimate picks, with my ultimate picks, I would have to go with Eyebrow and a Medusa. So, let's take a look at her ear. Now, looking at her ear, ah, great ear for piercings. Number one, first thing I'm seeing is going to be the industrial. You can see how a bar going across side to side fits perfectly as well as a rook piercing. Rook would be really, really nice. Doth piercing. Conch piercing. You could also do a tragus piercing. Anti-tragus. There are a lot of options. Even the helix around here, you can see how this rim has that nice shadow in there. That means you could actually do piercings like forward helixes up around here, as well as hiding them, like possibly coming out on the rims, like so. If you did like little tiny curve bars up there. Um, also, snug piercing, depending on how high that snug comes up, but I could see a curved barbell in just like so. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, Industrial, Conch, and the Rook. And up next, we do have Julissa. Let's take a look at your face. Now, as we look at her face, we're gonna zoom in here a little bit. I am seeing nostril possibilities. Um, definitely one, possibly one on each side, just like so. I could also see a Medusa. That fits perfectly right in that little area right there. Vertical labrette, 100% with a nice pouty lip. I'm a huge fan of vertical labrettes. I could also see some dahlias, the way her smile, and that would tuck in there so nice and cutely. Cutely, is that a word? Um, also, I could see a dermal anchor, if you're into dermal anchors, one kind of right down by the corner of the eye. I don't suggest those that often, but sometimes you just see someone and you just gotta speak up. You could also see an eyebrow piercing. Go on to this side, just a little curved barbell up there. And as far as my ultimate picks, I would have to go with, I didn't mention it, but I wanna do an Ashley and a double nostril, one on each side. Now, let's take a look at her ear. Now, zooming in on her ear, on her ear, there we go. We have two existing piercings, two lobe piercings. That other one kind of falls almost into that third area, so it might be kind of fun to add a second one in the middle, just like that, or maybe stacked. Do a stacked one in the middle, kind of creating a diamond on the ear. When they're spread out like this, sometimes you're not sure what to do. The stacked thing put right in the middle works every time. Well, most every time. Now, another option here would be a tragus piercing. You can see how there's a fold on the front of the tragus, meaning it wants to get pierced. A nice little stud there. Maybe even put a nice snug ring once it's all healed up. I could also see a rook piercing. 
Um, as far as forward helix, it looks like this area is nice and tight where I don't know if the jewelry's going to fit in there. So you might need to stay away from the forward helix, but you might be able to get away with another industrial across there. Not with that curve, but with the straight bar. Um, as far as uh, my ultimate picks here, they'll go. I would say Tragus Piercing and the Stacked Lobs. The next person we have is Rachel. Yeah, there is that picture right here. As you can see, there is a split tongue. We haven't seen too many of those on this channel, um, but it is a mod. It is really, really cool. Now, one fun thing to do with the split tongue, if you have this, is possibly piercing both sides. It is two separate muscles, so it's like doing a venom piercing, but at the same time, you know, just two separate barbells, one on each side like that. It's a really, really cool look. I couldn't tell you how it heals because I don't have split tongue or my venom's pierced, but it's a rad look. Um, now, as far as other piercings go, I see a double nostril piercing and a septum already. You mentioned a medusa. I could totally see a medusa. I could also see a gestrum. Can you see how the medusa would work really well there? But also the gestrum with that little curved barbell up and down. I love it. I love it. Now, as far as other piercings go, I could see dolphin bites, two kind of closer librettes on the lower lip like that, kind of works with the septum and the nostrils already. You mentioned bridge, I could totally see a bridge. As long as you're not wearing glasses in the right anatomy, love bridge piercings. They do leave a scar, but sometimes that's the price you pay for beauty. Um, eyebrow piercings. Now, the skin looks a little taunt, can't totally tell, but if that skin's a little bit looser, I could totally see eyebrow piercings. Everything seems to be symmetrical now, so we'd probably have to do one on each side. Um, I could also see high nostrils. High nostril piercings are always super fun. Obviously a fan of them. But as far as my ultimate picks, I would do high nostrils and dolphin bites. Let's take a look at her ear. And zooming in, taking a look at her ear, we have a forward helix up here. You can see that right up in there. Um, super fun piercing. Sometimes these are remnants of old industrial piercings that didn't work because they hit the wrong angle. If this wasn't industrial, it definitely was the wrong angle. It should have been more like that. Um, but if not, it's just also a really cool piercing. Sometimes these studs can work really well with rings. If you get a nice ring, which kind of lays forward like that, really cool look. Um, we also have the single lobe piercing, which she's talking about stretching. Um, I highly encourage that. It looks like there's plenty of earlobe to stretch. As far as other piercings go, there's not a whole lot of curves inside this ear. There is definitely room for a snug piercing which I think is kind of fun because you have the one down below. It kind of creates that little triangle. Could also see a tragus piercing. Same type of thing where it kind of creates that little line. And also a possible conch piercing with a nice big cluster on the inside of that conch. Or even heal it up and put the ring in there when you're done. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, I would go with a snug and a tragus. And up next, we are going to be taking a look at Yosef. So let's take a look at his face. Now, when we immediately look here, first thing I'm drawn to is the bridge. You can see that there is some shadow right there, which means it's probably pronounced enough to actually pierce and might not even hit that bone. If it's real close to the bone, don't do it, but a bridge piercing would be epic. Now, I can also see a septum piercing. Sometimes when you have like nice shadow like that, a septum piercing, a larger gauge looks really, really cool. Um, I could also see nostril piercings and um, just like one on each side, but at the same time, maybe something with a little larger bead. Doesn't have to be a larger piercing, a larger bead, like maybe a four millimeter bead or gem on there would be really, really cool. As far as other piercings, I would say lip piercings, hymen rows. I'm always a fan of the hymen rows. I want to make those more popular. So I think those look really nice. I could also see a labrette. I could also see snake bites. Let's try that other snake bite again. That's a little bit closer. Um, I could also see eyebrow piercings. 
horizontal from side to side just like so and um that's quite a few options there um as far as my ultimate pick i would have to go with the septum piercing and the bridge classic look let's take a look at his ear now as we zoom into his ear here we're going to look and we're going to see that there is a perfect gap right up in this area leaving room for the industrial definitely running a bar straight across just like so now another fun option which i don't mention all the time is maybe changing up the industrial a little bit like using a surface bar like where the bar just goes across where it's a floating industrial where the beads would be across on the back now sometimes if you do this you can even custom bend a bar like this where it follows the curvature of the ear so surface bars like this are epic now as far as other piercings go i can see a tragus piercing I could also see some forward helix piercings. I see possibly two with that tragus piercing. That's kind of a real cool look, the three going down the front. And there's always plenty of room for a conch right here. Conch heal it up and a nice snug ring around there. Doth piercing is a really good option, as well as the rook. So lots of different options here. You know, and the last one I want to mention is something I don't ever mention on the show, and that's called a snonch piercing. That's where basically where the snug right here kind of meets the conch. So if you just did a stud right here, kind of forward facing, that's called a snonch. Super cool piercing. Not everyone has the right anatomy for it, but this looks perfect. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, I would have to go with that snonch as well as the tragus piercing. And up next, we have Taryn. Now, Taryn mentioned she has a few piercings already, and they look great, but she feels like she's missing something. She needs a little bit more to bedazzle. So we're going to start bedazzling. Now, I love the nostril piercings, love the septum. The angel bites are great. Now, what would we add? I would say a lower lip piercing. But honestly, I would do outside snake bites. That's what I see. So how you kind of bring them a little further out, like so. That would be really, really cool. So that would turn it into the canine bites. And then also, I could see a bridge piercing. Huge fan of bridge piercings this episode. I'm always a fan of the bridge piercing, but it looks like proper anatomy. I think the bridge piercing is what you're missing. So if you have anatomy, that would be my ultimate pick, is the bridge piercing. All right, let's take a look at her ear. awesome so we have a bunch of helix piercings and a stretched lobe on the bottom here so number one be careful looks like it might be getting a little bit thin under here um just if you stretch nice and slow you'll still be able to get a couple more sizes in there without causing damage um as far as what i would do i would get some more piercings you need something centrally located in the ear so possibly a doth piercing also a brook piercing that would work really well anti helix piercings two of them right there and then also the way the jewelry is i might change up the studs a little bit just to kind of have more uniformity with different studs and gems um if you did something like that I would definitely go from the bigger gems, like maybe a five millimeter gem to the four, to the three, to the two, and then maybe another two or two and a half up top. I think that would look really, really cool. And my ultimate pick, I would say, I think a doth is what you need to complete your ear. Excellent. And keep stretching that lobe as well. So up next, we have MJ. Um, MJ or Maddie has a septum piercing it looks like it's stretched up um it could also be a clicker sometimes would look bigger on the outside but i believe that one is stretched i love stretched septums um she's talking about adding possible nostril piercings one on each side and adding the chain i'm obviously a fan of the chain and generally what i like better is slightly higher nostril piercings if you're adding the chain it makes it a little more difficult to wear rings in the nostrils but with a chain they seem to sit across there a little bit better so if we were about to add that i would say maybe about let me go a little bigger with this
try that again here. There we are. So if we add them a little bit higher up like that, so it's high nostrils, I think the high, high nostrils can sometimes go all the way up that high, but those don't work as well for the, for the chain. So I would say the high nostrils like that would work really beautifully. I could also see some mantises if you're doing the chains like that and having some forward facing small little diamonds on the front right up there. Now, as far as new piercings for the lip, I would say a Medusa would look beautiful. Same thing with an Ashley. You can also see a single lip piercing on one side and balancing it all the way out with a eyebrow on the other. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, I would have to go with the high nostrils and an Ashley. Now, let's take a look at Maddie's ear. Now, looking at her ear, very clean picture. Thank you for sending that in. Um, really, really easy to make some suggestions here. First thing I'm going to say is going to be a tragus piercing. You can see how she has a very pronounced tragus, and it would work really well. Um, the rook might be folded over too much to wear a proper curved barbell. And if you did this, you might only see the top gem, unless it's a really long bar. Uh, I could also see some more helix piercings. The spreading out of the earlobe piercings like this, maybe adding another one here. Adding like two more of them up there, kind of creating five up the ear would look really good. You can see how pronounced this rook uh, snug is. The snug is just screaming to be pierced. It's a rough heel, but they look so cool. And you can also see a very well pronounced doth. Now, because of that, you're going to be able to tuck that jewelry all the way in there where it looks like it's coming from inside the ear. These look and heal the best. So definitely a doth piercing. And last suggestion I would say would be the anti-helix area. You can see how this area is uh, kind of raised up a little bit. So we could add one here, possibly one just in the center. Also, uh, it's called a flat piercing. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, I have to go with the tragus piercing. And I'd also say two more helixes. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit that like, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. We'll see you on the next video.